My name is Foster Akafio. I come from Ghana, Accra. I had a, an awesome experience in the presence of Holy Spirit. The Bible says, Behold, I will do a new thing. We discover in, at Refresher that God keeps on unfolding new, new things on a daily basis. So, and I want us to know that the anointing of yesterday is not enough for today's assignment. So, by the time you come to Refresher, your life will never remain the same again. I thank God uh, Almighty because this um, this institute is a kind that I would love you to come. Um, when you look at what God is doing in this institute, it's awesome. My heart, my mind, my soul belongs to you. But I want you to know one thing, the only thing is, be here, Mount Zion Institute is the place to be. Peace. From the earliest of movies to the very latest ones, the Mount Zion movies are full of deep spiritual realities, strong social issues, heart-touching moral lessons, highly inspiring messages that set the captives free from diverse bondages. Award-winning films like Enemy of My Soul, Ultimate Power, The Wounded Heart, Captives of the Mighty, Blood on the Altar, Haunting Shadows, and more than 35 other titles are available from the Mount Zion Media Connections. All from the Mount Zion Films Productions.
Well done. Hmm. How is everything? Ah, I'm fine. How is your work? Mama, I thank God. You just went from the location of our latest movie mm -hmm. yesterday morning. I feel I should see you for certain things. I hope there is no problem. Oh, no, no. no, no. Just the normal and the usual thing. You understand? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> if that is the uh, case, it's okay. Please, tell someone to give me water, please. Ah, uh, Rebecca! Rebecca, Ma? please bring water. Hey, Mama, the other time, you said something like, you're thinking about me. What is the matter? Mm. Oh, my dear, how are you? Fine, I hope you're fine. Yes, sir. Hope you're good. Yes, sir. Take care. <laughs> ah, it's not all that serious. It's about Fadi Kemi. Fadi Kemi? And the house mistress called that she, she's longing for home. Eh, is she sick? Oh no, not that she's sick. It's all, she's homesick. But uh, she suggested that we should make an arrangement to bring her home for the weekend. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> if it's no more than that, it's all right. I learned that Potu was ill. Uh -huh. Although he has gotten over it, so uh -huh. there's no problem again. Uh -huh. There's no problem. Uh -huh. I think what I'll do is, I'll arrange for the two of them to come home. Uh -huh. And spend their holiday with you. I'll carry. Thank you. Thank you. I'll carry your mother. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you are referring to receive our next visitor. Who are you referring to? Ah, ah Mama, who else will it be? For Lake? Oh, for Lake. <laughs> I really <laughs> pity <laughs> that lady. Though I love her. Mama, pity. <laughs> you better throw away pity and get ready for your assignment. Ah, I'm always ready. It's only I am trying to express my feeling for her. So, be expecting her in the next two weeks. Mm -hmm. The will be bringing her right here from the clinic with the baby. It's okay. okay. It's okay. It's okay. And uh, I have told her already that she will be here for the next two weeks because of the nature of my job. Yeah. You understand that one? <laughs> <laughs> it's so, okay. Mama, it's all right. Uh, the driver will bring uh, foodstuffs and provision for you. I think that should be next week. You should keep this for casual expenses. Ah, uh, uh, Thank you, my son. Yeah, thank uh, you, Omola, God will continue to prosper yeah, yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> God will bless you and bless your work. Amen. I can be one bill. Take it from the envelope now. Okay, Mama. Mama. I'll bring it when I'm coming exactly. back next time. Okay, yeah, bye bye. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll miss it. Yes, <laughs> yes. Ah! 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 Ah!
<laughs> in a simple. Oh. I, I should have asked you that question. Really? Because your name has become a household name, mm. popular in, this, in the media and even in the industry. How do you think I can forget such a face oh, like this? Oh, times flying, Nelson. With all those wonderful years spent together at Unibed. Oh, no, 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 I couldn't have forgotten. Nelson, is possible. It's possible. <laughs> it's not possible. Because how times fly. How are you? I'm fine. Your family, your home, your work and everything. Everything oh, wonderful. is fine. So we good are to fine. see you. So it's good to pleasure. see you. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Where are you heading to? Um, I've just come to pick some things here for the children at home. Oh, that's good. I just My came to buy for our food. So, where, where are you parked? Towards that hand over there. Alright, let's put your car. Alright. <laughs> Nelson, Nelson. Hey! Jesus Christ. Have you surrendered your life to him? Oh, come on. Don't tell me you are still with this belief. Sure. When we were together, you are always attending fellowships, prayer meetings, yes. and all these religious yes. things. By now, you should not run away with them. I've not renounced. Those are the training grants for me. And by the grace of God today, I am a minister of the gospel. And it is not strange. Because in those days, you tend towards that way. So, <laughs> I know you end up like this. Congratulations, my guy. But Nelson. <laughs> May I ask you a question? When are you also going to give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ? Since you have enjoyed fame, popularity, protection, good health, wealth. You don't have anything to lose by giving your life to Him. You have all things to gain to yourself. You, you say, God. You see, I attend church services too. But it's unfortunate I won't be able to continue this conversation with you. I have to be in a place now. Nelson. So we'll catch up later. Okay? If that is the case, can I <laughs> kindly have your number so oh, I can call you up? No problem. My card is here. Complimentary card. Okay. I should have one here. Good. Okay. You with this, with this, I'll be able to track you. Yeah, yeah. We yeah, are yeah, friends. <laughs> we'll follow up. Okay? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Pastor. Nelson, Nelson. <laughs> Pastor. Nelson, Nelson. See you later. Yeah. Good morning, Mama. The door is open. Good morning, my daughter. Good morning, Mama. How was your night? Fine, thank you, Mama. Uh, your food is ready. And the hot water is uh, also ready for both of you. Mama, thank you. You've really been taking good care of us, and we are so grateful. Mm. Don't worry. You deserve it. So thank you. Ah, I'll call you. Abisola Gomi Omola How was your night? Your face looks so dull and heavy. You didn't sleep at all? <laughs> Mama, we are talking from experience, so. I didn't sleep at all. Mm -hmm. She was just sucking and crying all through the night. Well, it's one of those things. That means during the day when she's sleeping, so you have to take your time to sleep. I will help you back immediately after her bath so you can have time to rest. Thank you, Mama. Thank you so much. It's okay. I will go and bath for her now. Ah, okay. Such a nice woman.
Obi. You are here at last. You are welcome. Please carry a chair. Uh, I invited you because I have an important issue to discuss with you. That's why I invited you. Okay. Uh, first and foremost, uh, how is your work? I'm very fine, sir. Thank you. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, and uh, we are enjoying you. Mm. Hmm. It's as if your fame and popularity is fast spreading like a hamilton fire. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. So many people have been saying the same thing to me. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, sir. But don't let your achievement enter into your head. It's as if you have been carried away by your popularity and fame. And life is not like that, too. Uh, sir, how exactly do you mean? Hmm. I can be. Yes, I'm not happy with you. And I must tell you the truth. All those ladies you are impregnating and dumping their children with your mother. They are not a good report about you. Don't give this family a bad image. Remember, your own children too will grow up. Do you want them to be treated like that? Uncle, honestly, I will try and do something about this. Please do. I'm so sorry to make you feel this way. But sir, I have to take my leave now because I still have a meeting to attend. Ah, uh, please. <sighs> Please have this token. No, uh, keep your money. I can't take it from you. I'm not happy with you yet. Uh, until I see definite change in you. In fact, I will have to see my sister about this issue. Alright, sir. I'll be on my way. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. Alright, bye. Hello? Children, your daddy has come. Your daddy has come. Oh. Oh. Daddy, daddy. 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 Yeah. How are you? Ah, daddy, you are welcome. How was school yesterday? Fine. Oh, good. Daddy. <laughs> Mommy, how are you? How are you doing? Mommy, well done. Yes, thank you. Actually, I'm on my way to a meeting, so I just decided to bring their Money for upkeep. Thank you very much. All right, Ma. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Mama, I have to rush. I have to go now because. <laughs> Come, I have something for you in the car. <laughs> All right, Ma. Gentlemen, this way, please. Daniel, okay, make sure you deliver those parcels to Mr. Olato and get back here immediately, okay? Oh, very good, very good. Gentlemen, you're welcome. Thank you, sir. Have your seat. And make yourself comfortable. <clears throat> um, gentlemen, I've gone through your letter, but 
I'm sorry. I won't be able to show up in that gathering. <laughs> but, but why, sir? You see, I have to travel for an engagement a day before. And uh, it will be too stressful for me, you understand? Exactly, sir. We decided not to make this uh, conversation on phone. And that is why we booked this appointment with you, sir. This gathering is specially arranged for people like you, sir. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> Uh, sir, if I'm not mistaken, sir, that is going to be award night on that day, sir. Award night? Y yes, sir. You yes, don't sir. mean it? Yes. Yes, sir. Award. Yes. You mean there's going to be an award that night? Oh, great. That's wonderful. Oh, great. And, and special people like you need to be celebrated, sir. <laughs> ah, that's wonderful. Uh, okay, uh, let me see. This is what I'll do. Mm, I'll look into my schedules. And I'll see if there will be a chance, you understand? Since there's going to be an award. <laughs> <laughs> and we shall all be happy if you like to make it a date with us. Ah, no problem, no problem. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Don't worry, I'll look into my schedule. Okay? Gentlemen, I must say you're welcome once again. All right? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank so... <laughs> <laughs> Funke. Hey, hey. Oh, she has grown so big. How are you now? Hi, is a little baby. She's fine. Okay, what are you I'm asking? Fine. It's, uh, it's the traffic. Please, please, please. Which you traffic? Since case. all these days. Shall any worry? I beg, Jerry. See the baby, I can't wait to see her. Come this way. Oh, how are you? Hello. <laughs> I hope the baby is as beautiful as our mother. You can bet. Uh, Trust now. So how are you now? I'm fine, no? <laughs> Mama. They're both excellent. You are looking so beautiful now. Oh, yeah, we well. mm. Congratulations. She's my baby. <laughs> hey, thank God. See our beautiful baby. Hello. Ah. Okay. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Is this how life is? Mm. Not even a call. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm sorry now. I've heard you now. I traveled to Abuja. I came back yesterday morning and by the time I returned, I was very, very tired. I had to take the whole of yesterday to, to, to rest. Good excuse. Mm, for lack of care. I said I'm sorry. See, I misplaced my mobile phone. You misplaced your phone? Yeah. How? How did that happen? Uh, sometimes ago. In fact, it was so, so painful. All the numbers I had on it, including yours, all went with the phone. Oh, oh I'm so sorry, Dame. I'm so sorry, my friend. I'm very, very sorry. I shouldn't have accused you wrongly. So how are you? I'm fine, no. Yeah, Tina told me you're going to Abuja was um, an emergency. Hope there's no problem. Uh, okay. No, no. It was a very good problem. What's that? My okay. sister put to bed two weeks ago. Oh. And you know, the husband and his mom had to travel to Europe two weeks before her delivery. So she had no choice than to send for me to take care of the baby. That's congratulations Thank in line. You. This baby is beautiful. My friend, my friend. Thank God. My friend, you're looking robust. Mm -hmm. You must really be enjoying this place. This place looks so beautiful. Enjoyment. Enjoyment, Sha. Me, I'm not enjoying you. Know. How do you mean? Is he not taking care of you? Who? Your husband now. Is there any problem? He doesn't come around to see us. He doesn't have our time. Eh. Hmm. Anyway, what do you expect? You know, he's a public figure, and most of these people, they hardly have time for themselves. Not to talk of their wives and children. You should understand now. I'm trying. <laughs> At least they forced me to learn. But anyway, let's forget about me. Let's talk about you. What do you want to drink? Let me get you something to eat now. You know I'm a good cook. Yes. And I just finished cooking my, you know, my favorites. You know that uh, delicacy now. You know, if I want food, I would ask. I took some things before coming here. Okay, please say so. 
I'm okay. See, I brought some things for the baby. Mm -hmm. Ah, thank you, my friend. Thank you I so much. Oh, oh. My friend, Do you thank like them. you. Of course, even looking at them from the nylon, you know they are beautiful. May God bless you Amen. and may He increase you. Amen. Thank you so so much. I'm so grateful. You're welcome. Oh, this baby looks so much like you. Are you for real? Yes. Ah, but people tell me she looks like a father. But to me, she looks so so beautiful, oh. like the mommy. <laughs> thank you, my friend. You're welcome. See, I'll soon be going. Uh -uh. Why now? I thought we were going to stay till evening. Mm. I have so many places to touch. Uh -uh. You know, I came back yesterday. I see I have so many catching up to do. Okay. I promise you, very soon I'll be here. All right, my friend. Daddy, Thank daddy, you. Daddy, daddy, daddy. Please take good care of our baby. I oh. sure will. Ah, let me escort Don't you Don't bother to do that. Just ah, take care of the baby. Okay. I promise I'll be here All soon. All right, my friend. Bye -bye. Thanks for making my day. You're welcome. told you that you must not come here. Baba. The tree you told me to stay under is not growing at all. And I cannot wait hopelessly for it. Besides, this tree I'm staying under has enough branches to give me shade. My dear, you will have exercised a little more patience. And let the tree grow, even to your desire. Hmm? I deliberately warned you not to leave that tree. It is yours. No, Baba. I cannot wait anymore. This tree has grown. And it has strong, big, shady leaves. In your own sight. But my dear, what you are doing is to your own detriment. No. No, 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 Baba. This tree is big and reliable. Far better than that tiny one. And very soon, the fruits will be ready to eat and ripe. Young lady, all that you would have hearkened to my word, and it will have bring unto you peace like a river, and righteousness like the wave of the sea. If you still have your Bible with you, you will see it in Isaiah 48, verse 18. Hmm. But alas, you have not arranged your documents properly. How, Baba? If you have remained in Christ, you would have been a little bit patient and you would have gotten to your resting place by now. You cannot rush God. Neither can you force your own desire on Him. I don't know why God has decided not to favor me. <clears throat> My dear, what else do you want God to do for you that he has not done for you? For Lake, it's exactly two years and some months now that you messed up your life. Oh. You assassinated your future. You robbed yourself of the greatest treasure of your life, which is the salvation of your soul. Rephrase your steps back to Jesus. Let him restructure your life. Remember Job 14.14 14, and surely your change will come. Mama, how are you? Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm, fine, ma. We thank God for everything. Your safe delivery, the growth and development of the baby. But I want to ask you some questions. When did you deliver your baby? I mean, can you tell me precisely the exact month you entered into this house? Mm, it's going to be six months by the end of this week. Oh, Carrie, that's good of you. It's a normal thing for me to remember, Mama. At least I carried the baby in my womb for a good nine months. Of course, you are true. Now let's go into the business. Business? Do you notice that there are some children in this house? Mm, yes, yes, I do. And I'm the one taking care of them? Yes, I do. From this weekend, I mean right from this weekend, you have only 12 more months to spend in this house. That means a year from this weekend, you are vacating. So I'll be going to my husband's house. Ah, thank you, Mama. I'm so grateful. Who told you that? But how do you mean, Mama? You are going to relocate by yourself to somewhere else. Relocate somewhere else? Why? To where? You will need to find answer to all those questions when the time comes. Did Nessie, my son, promise to marry you as a wife? Yes, he said it. Good, good. Did you know any of your parents? No, Mama. Did he pay dowry on you? <laughs> he did not. Did he make any legal effort to back up his promise? No, he did not. He told me that. I should first get pregnant. Then after that, every other thing will fall into place. Fall into place? Sorry, oh. <sighs> so this man deceived me. Your uncontrollable desire for worthy man, fame, and popularity deceive you. Oh. Falake, where is your mommy? Oh. That's another issue. Another issue? How? We were made to believe that we didn't have a mother. How? My mother deserted my father when he was seriously ill. She neglected us while we were growing. So you came from a broken home? Yes, ma'am. Is that the reason why you saw yourself so cheap to a man that did not know your relatives, neither to, not to talk or pay your dowry? Enough of that, ma! You have just succeeded in sharing your future and your destiny with a man that has no genuine love for you! Stop it, mama! Stop it! Why are you breaking my heart? Who am I just to deserve all this? <laughs> and yeah, you see? Yeah? What? Okay, guess what? What? Nelson proposed to me. <laughs> really? Nelson? Yes. <laughs> the popular actor. Yes, now. Wow. <laughs> Are you really sure what you're saying? I'm say? very sure. I'm double sure. <laughs> That's wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> you? Yeah, I was thinking of something that maybe I should share my testimony with my pastor. Your pastor? Mm. <sighs> Did I hear you well? You want to share that with your pastor? Yeah. Are you okay? Uh, I don't think it's necessary. You know, this is an opportunity. And just make sure you grow up it. Get married and get settled. You can talk to your pastor later. You think I should not tell my pastor now? Don't you think you're not getting younger? 
Huh? Okay. <laughs> Who have I offended? <laughs> Who has happened to me? <laughs> My hope! <laughs> My life! <laughs> Where do I start from? Where do I start from? <laughs> Olakemi, that man is not a Christian. No matter what, as a child of God, that step is wrong. Please, it's wrong. Do not consent to his proposal. Ah, Auntie, he's a nice guy. He has the fame and the money I need. And I am a child of God. You know, it will make it easy for me to convert him. So he needs just a little brush up here and there, you know, with prayers and counseling. And I am sure that by the time I finish, you will be better than most men in this church. For Lake, is that what our pastor taught us? Is this how you want to believe in your own Christian life? The door is not locked. Auntie Emmy, see? Oh, Falaka, how are you? <laughs> Sit down. Thank Falaka, you. what happened? Thank you, darling. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, why is she crying? I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. How are you? Uh, uh. <laughs> Children, sorry, take your walk inside. Hmm? I'll join you later. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Let your sister help you. Go. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> Well, I can't, what's the matter? It's my husband. Your husband? What happened to him? Has Funke come? No. She's on her way. She just called me before you came in. She said that. You said she should meet you here. Hello? Is anybody here? Come in. Hello, baby. <laughs> Good evening. Okay, how are you? Oh, Auntie, yeah, I miss you. You're welcome. Good evening, Mama. Good evening. Uh -uh. Yeah, bro. What's the problem? Why the urgency in your voice? My husband said I'll be relocating when my baby clock, one and a half years old. It's okay. Since you'll be relocating to his house. That was what I thought. It's not that. I, I thought I'll be going to his house before, but. They said I won't be going to his house. What happened? Did you quarrel? No. Your husband asked you to pack out. Why did you say that? <laughs> Actually, it was his mom that said it. You know, it has been his mom that's been taking care of my baby and I since I put to bed. <laughs> I don't even know what to do. Uh uh. And you scared me. I thought it was the one that said it. How can you well say that? When it's not insane. Abio, how can she say such a thing? And you fell for it to Klein and Sinka. That woman must be a witch. It is not about being a witch. <laughs> Both of you are the issues. Both of you contributed to my being in this mess in the first place. Eh. So... We are your enemies by finding a good resting place for you, eh? You've forgotten those years of aimless waiting and the depression that set in, Abby, eh? Mm. 
that's not even the issue. <laughs> what if it becomes reality? <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> For luck, don't be pessimistic. I am repeating this. This can be. And have you asked him? Have you called him and talked to him about this matter? No. I had this just yesterday. And since then, my life has been like it has never been in existence. I would then suggest that you call him and ask him and discuss with him on the matter. Sorry, Falake. Please brace up. You are a woman. Stop behaving like a kid. Sorry. Sorry. Hello? Uh, hello, good morning. Hello, honey. Wow. Your voice is so sweet this morning. How was your night? Am I my little princess? She's fine. But I'm not fine. What happened? Hello? Tell me exactly what is happening there. Please, we need to talk. I need to see you. Where are you now? Um, uh, I'm actually in a meeting now with the crew we're going to use for our next movie. So, uh, can't you just brief me about what is going on there? No, I can't talk on phone. I need to see you, please. Okay, okay. All right. Uh, I'll get to your side before evening. Okay. All right, you take care. Yeah. Oh, hello, mommy. Good morning, my dear. How are you? Yeah, good morning, ma. Sorry to disturb you. Folake just called me now. She said she would like to speak with me, but not on phone. Have you let the cat out of the bag? I mean, our principal. Because I think this week will be the appropriate time for us to do that. You know it, and why are you asking me all these questions? <laughs> <laughs> is it my safe for like it's more serious than the other mothers? Serious? Serious than all other mothers? Ah, Mama, what do you mean? She was weeping bitterly. And she has been going about Moody. Actually, she told me she was sick. How is she now? Uh, she went out briefly yesterday. And, she has, and since she has come back, she has stayed in her room. And she has not come out since. Okay. Thank you very much, ma. I'll call you later. Thank you. Thank you, my dear. Bye. For like a... To have you sitting down with us here like this is a great honor okay. and a privilege. Okay. We appreciate it, sir. <laughs> so mention I actually enjoy it too. What's the nature of my job? Oh. Wow, my elders. <laughs> it's 
good to see you. What Welcome, Saz and Ma. Daniel, please, lead them to the living room. I'll be with you shortly. Thank you. <laughs> Um, you have to excuse me now. Let me attend to the elders briefly. I'll be back, okay? I'll be back shortly. Ah, my elders, <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you. I hope there is no problem. Uh, not really, not really. <laughs> okay. Please, you still give me a few minutes so that I can attend to those young men, and then I'll come back to join you. Meanwhile, um... Daniel, please come and serve my elders some refreshments. may not uh, need any refreshment. The matter that brought us here is more important than, than any refreshment, isn't it? Yes. I'm just even eating this food. And I don't think I need any food now. The day is still young. I understand and know why you are here. But I can assure you, we're going to settle it amicably. You will settle it amicably? Definitely. Ah, thank God for that. <laughs> but please just give me some few minutes so that I can attend to those young men and then I'll be right back. Okay. See, see my son, go and attend to them. Right. After all, we made them here. And it is first come, first serve. Yes, <laughs> yes, all right, yes, sir. Oh, Flaky, there. Mm, I'll join you very soon, okay? Please excuse me. Wow, friends, I'm so sorry for keeping you waiting. <laughs> it's alright. It's alright. Okay, let's hand this discussion for now. Because of my elders, I don't want to keep them waiting. They travel from afar off. And it would be unwise for me to just keep them waiting unnecessarily. You understand? Are you not saying we need to take our leave now? I'm sorry. <laughs> I hope you understand. Thank you very much for all your work. I really appreciate it. Next time you come to be on the light and <laughs> On behalf of my colleagues, we appreciate you, sir. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. man is a pretender. He's cunning and diplomatic. Though, at times, he could be humble. I'm somehow confused. Because this man's character is contrary to the information she gave to us. This man is so friendly, so respectful, and accommodating. Hey, could you imagine what she told us? I'm confused too. Maybe she's the one that is not behaving well to him. Uh, uh, Baba. Mm, because I'm confused with what is going on here. Yes. Uh, what is it? Yes. I just pray that God will have mercy on her. Because of her innocent baby. Amen. No. So that this man will settle the issue peacefully according to his word. Amen. Ah. That is it. What? Well, okay. Take me to the toilet, please. I want to use the toilet. Okay, ma. It's this way. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Johnson. Are those dogs ready? Oh, good. Good, good. Okay, you have treated them. Please bring those dogs down here right now. I need them to deal with some set of people I have inside my house now. Very good. Please, it is very, very urgent. I mean, very, very urgent. Mr. Johnson, very, very urgent, okay? All right. You are sitting here. Eh? What happened? He has gone to hire dogs against us. Dogs? Yes, dogs? He has gone to hire dogs against us. Dogs? Yes. For that game? You come to my house to attack me? You hired Hapalis to come and attack me in my own house? Oh, fine, fine. I will make sure I deal with you. Before you kill me, I will deal with you. Hello, Mr. Johnson. Where are you? Please get here immediately. 
Okay? And bring those doors. Hunters to attack me? For like a, With all I've done for you? Do, do you really know whom you are dealing with? Habalist and answers. I didn't send Habalist and answers to you. I only sent my relatives to you and I didn't send them to attack you. Relatives? You mean your relatives are Habalists? How? No. I didn't have anyone to turn to. And I, I needed someone to talk to you. So I had to call them to intervene on my behalf. Probably you listen to them and have mercy on mercy. me. Mercy! Just hold it! You talk about mercy. You should know it's God that shows mercy. I, I Nelson, I have no mercy to offer you. Now listen carefully. And listen to me real good. I said listen! I have made a covenant never to reject a child or pregnancy a claim to me. But all of them will stay under one roof without their mothers. Oh. Mokbe! <laughs> ah! Yeah, Mokbe! Ah! Okay, Nelson, 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 please, look at me. Give me a room in this compound. Let me stay and take care of our child. Hello? Are you deaf? You should even be grateful that I accept the child. You call our child that? Your child. child. Your child. Yes. How can I be, be even sure I am the only one in your life? You say no go there. Please. You know now. You say you knew you were the only one in my life, even till today. And I swear to God, I swear, I know no other man aside you. Nelson, please, please, you know I have a moral standard. You? <laughs> moral standard? Listen now. Listen. Truly, we met indeed. What? This is what I'll do. I'll give you some money so that you can start your life afresh. And just go. Go. No, sir. Please, don't do this to me. You know you promised to marry me. Did I divorce you? Ah, I see why you did this to me. Listen to me carefully. And don't ever in your life ever repeat that word again. Why are you doing this to me? Fola Shade, Bola Tito, Chinyere, Chioma and others. I didn't allow them to stay under my roof. And all those children you've been seeing with my mom, they have mothers too. Huh. So don't let it get into your brain that you can just sit around and enjoy what you don't deserve. No sin. <laughs> Lady, <laughs> I didn't drug you. I didn't force you. No rape you. No, I didn't. So don't just try anything funny like charging me to court or arresting me with police. No, don't try that. Because if you do, you will regret you ever crossed my path. No. And I mean it! No, sir, please. <laughs> Where do you want me to go? Go back to your abadists and hunters. I'm very sure they will never follow you to my house again. <laughs> you should know it will be my pleasure to be an ambassador of all Orient Telecom's products. <laughs> Talk of the glamour. 
the exposure and the packages. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. So grateful. Oh, and so when do I come to your office to sign the deal? Oh, oh great, great. I'll be there. <laughs> thank you very much. My money, my time, everything. Uh -huh. So you are telling me, oh my God, I will deal with you. What did you buy from me? You could not even, if I ask you just for 20,000 naira, you will rack your head and tell me, uh, uh, maybe next week before I will be able to give you. Uh -huh. Listen to me, I can't count how much I've spent since I've known this guy. So I just think hold I would. It, hold it, hold it, hold it. Ah, please let hold me it. just give this guy. I might some missing something here. Shari? Who is this ruffian? I don't know. Me ruffian? Yes. Shade! Me! Help me! Are you not? Oh, hold it! My friend! Mm. Do you know whom you are ah. dealing with? Ah. 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 God! Teach your fault! God! Teach you! <laughs> well done, nursing. Well done, nursing. Well done, nursing. Yeah. Have a nice time. Well done, well done, well done, well done. 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 Hello. 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 Please, I God, 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 God. What are you saying? Give me something romantic that okay. will move him up. Okay. okay. okay, okay, okay. Action. Please, darling. Please, just look at. I said I'm sorry. Please, don't do this. Just please. leave I me love alone. You. I love you, Kule. Please, I leave. love you from the depth of my heart. Just. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Somebody help. I Entertainment News. The annual film festival has just been held in Abuja. The Minister for Information, Chief Donald, gave the closing remarks. Breaking news. The famous actor Nelson Paul has just been admitted in an undisclosed hospital. Say me! He's reported to have cardiac arrest while on a film. Come on, say. We shall update you on his case. Back to Mary on our main news. But what, what could I have cost it? going on in the private room. Haven't you heard at all? Heard what? I am just resuming. That's Nelson the Fabulous is in there. Fabulous? Don't you know what it does? Nelson Paul, the actor. Oh. Uh, hello there. 
Okay. Yeah, I just called to tell you that I would need 2.5 million for that documentary film and uh, 3 million for the other film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you just bring your contract first. In a, in a couple of months, you get your payback. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think uh, ah. I can't sleep. Isn't it amazing what my fans sent to me? <laughs> uh, oh, do you want my autograph? <laughs> Not really. Why? Don't you recognize me? I am Nelson Paul. I recognize you. Are you not Nelson Paul? Yes, I am. <laughs> a navy woman and a popular actor? <laughs> Who will not recognize you? I wonder. <laughs> Your name has even become an household name. Wow, that's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I know you very well. You are a good actor. But I hope you are not misusing the gift. Hello, lady. How do you mean? Don't you watch my movies? Uh, sorry. I don't like those kind of movies you produce. And I don't allow my children to watch them either. God has helped me to be careful about what my children watch. What? What's art? It's a masterpiece. A very good artwork. I don't dispute that. But they contain violence and immoral art which can damage the heart of innocent children. Hey, Mr. Nelson. Do you know what? We are all going to answer God for what we are doing with his gift and investment upon our lives. Even though you are gifted, Mr. Nelson, but you are not using the gift according to God's will. No one has ever talked to me like this. Even Reverend Frederick says I'm a good man. Mm. You are not. He just wanted your money. That's it. There is none righteous, no, not one. For all have sinned and come short of God's glory. Mr. Nelson, you are using your film to pollute the heart of innocent youth and destroying their lives. Lizzie. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Uh, Nelson. Are you coming back? Later. Can you stand before God as a preview of your past for you? And how have you been spending your life? Do you all have heaven in view? You tear moral laws of God apart, polluting the hearts and the minds of innocent youth, adults and children of your nation. If you don't use the gift given to you by God to win men to God, then don't use it to destroy the work of God. For God will surely hold you responsible. For all shall stand before the judgment throne of God to receive the reward of what he has done in the flesh. Nelson, how are you today?
Your blood pressure has risen again, Mr. Nelson. Have you been thinking again? I just had a terrible dream now. Please, what about the cleaner assigned to this room? Where is she? That should be Lizzie. She's on duty tomorrow and day after. Anything the matter? Oh, no, no, no. I'll be fine. Thank you, doctor. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, Mr. Nelson. Good night. Very popular. I know him very well. Do you know what? He was in the hospital room where I was scheduled to work. Hmm. Now I know why all prayers and efforts to change you from that hospital has proved abortive. Oni, you are right. Mm. Um, did you have uh, an opportunity to minister to him? Oh, yes, I did. But. We have not finished before the doctor came in. Mm. The little that I told him was strange to him, as if we have not had anything like such before. Mm. You see, we need to pray seriously for him, that God will use this situation to save his soul. Amen. You have sown a seed yeah. by preaching to him. We will now pray that God will use that seed that you've sown you will to touch his life. When we play our part, God will play his own part. God knows what he will do with him. Let us pray. Oh, good morning. Thank you. Oh, hello, Mr. Nelson. Wow. Oh. <laughs> How are you doing? Yeah, I'm okay. Good How's morning. your health? I'm getting better. Thank you very much. Thank God. I've Thank been expecting you. Okay. Lizzie, I want to ask you a question. Will I face God when I die? Yes, of course. We shall all. Why that question? You see, I had a dream. I was thinking God would be happy with me for all my achievements. <laughs> what? Are you kidding? Have you ever been told that every sinner will go to hell if they don't repent? God is not a respecter of person. Hell? I don't understand. In Mark 9, 48, the Bible says, Their worm die not, and their fire is not quenched. Hmm. Mr. Nelson, there was a story of a popular Hollywood actress who was visited by the American great evangelist. We were told that as she refused to give her life to Christ. She refused to accept Jesus Christ as a Lord and personal savior. She said, I don't need you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Do you know what happened? Then what happened to her? A week later, she was found dead in her apartment. Oh. A Hollywood actress found dead. How did she die like that? Because she must fulfill the scripture. The scripture? <laughs> fulfill the scripture? She died. How? The Bible says it is appointed for a man to die once and after death. Judgment. You know what, Mr. Nelson? God knew that death was looming over her. And so he sent his servant ahead, but she deliberately refused the salvation of God for her life. And that is exactly what many are saying today. But our God is wise in heart, mighty in strength, who has hardened himself against him and prospered. That is in Job 9, 4 in the Bible. Mr. 
Mr. Nelson. How are you doing? Oh, good morning. I'm getting better, thank you. You have a visitor, a close relative, a lady. A visitor? Yes. Okay. Let her hang in. because Jesus wants me to be here. What do you mean? Jesus said I should tell you he loves you. Now I know you are not serious at all. Besides, what gave you the audacity to just come in here and check me? My Nelson, calm down. <sighs> calm down. Truly, Jesus loves you. Could you believe God has used this little period of our separation to open my eyes and heart back to his love? Hmm. I actually chased God out for you to come in with your passionate love. <laughs> you? Were you a true Christian before? Yes, I was. I was a true Christian before I met you. Hmm. I like what God is doing in my life now because I am now a new being. And I want you, Nelson, to please allow God to do the same in your life. Please. What exactly do you mean? I mean the salvation of your soul. Polake, you're very, very oh, serious. You're never serious. Anyway, <sighs> inside it is this special gift. Because I know you will be needing it very soon. Have it. <laughs> you brought me an ovo? Just check it. Okay. A Bible? Why? I told you before that you would be needing it very soon. Who told you that? And besides, if you have decided to accept Jesus Christ into your life, must you force your will on me? No, Nelson, don't get me wrong. I'm not forcing my will on you at all. You have your decisions to make and the ball is in your court. Hmm. But since I know what it is to fear the Lord, have been thinking of how to persuade you because Christ's love compels me to. Nelson, please, be reconciled to God. Enough! Enough of all that. You have to leave now. I need some rest. Okay. Now. Please, madam, you've had enough time with him. It's time for you to leave. Please allow him to rest. Please. Okay, madam. Please. Nelson. Jesus loves you. Remember. Jesus did. If, if you believe that, 
repent of your sin and ask him to be your Lord and personal savior, then you will be saved. What do you think, Mr. Nelson? Let me think about it. You mean, I will no longer be a star? I will lose my fans. My fortune. I will now become a laughing stock. People and friends will now make jest of me. You mean you prefer the lake of fire? to reject the offer of God's love to you just to please a few fans who will not even remember you when you die. Even if they remember Mr. Nelson, tell me, is there anything good they can offer you? Please, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. Please. Okay, I will. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Nelson, please say after me. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I come to you today. I come to you today. Forgive my sin. Forgive me my sins. Accept me into your kingdom. Accept me into your kingdom. I accept you today. I accept you. As my Lord. As my Lord. And personal Savior. And personal Savior. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let me pray with you. Father, I thank you for your son. I thank you for this great miracle. Father, I say, be thou exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I commit him into your care. Father, you that have started this good work in him, see him through in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Use his life even to your glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father, Thank you. for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Oh, congratulations, Mr. Nelson. You are welcome to the family of God. Thank you, Lizzie. I'm happy. <laughs> then one more thing. <laughs> oh, why? You don't need to cry. You should rejoice because your name has been written in the book of life. Man. I, I mean, where do I start from? I have wasted most precious years of my life. You don't need to cry because of that. You see, many, I mean many, are still dying. And many, you know, are still wallowing under the bondage of sin. As a matter of fact, this message means nothing to many. You don't need to cry. All you need to do now is to take revenge on the devil. Revenge? Yes. How do I revenge? It is not too late for you, Mr. Nelson. God is counting on you to bring your colleagues and friends. He wants to use you to bring those ones to his kingdom. God is counting on you. And for those years you think you have wasted, oh, he will surely restore them. God is counting on you. I will try. May the Lord help me. Amen. Lizzie, thank you so much. The Lord has really used you for me. I'm grateful. 
You are welcome, Mr. Nash. Thank you.